what do you guys think? I, I want to hear your thoughts. Oh, I like it. I, I do. Um, I do like it more than Mysterium. I think. Um, I think I do too. Yeah. Mysterium is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, my biggest complaint with Mysterium is that it takes forever to set it up. This feels this is yeah. This feels like it's a, in a much neater package to be able to break it out and play. Break out. Let's look at some of these. Uh, I'm looking some for of the, some of the tougher ones. Games yeah. With yeah. Like so that, there's those. Like, those seem like if you've been playing this, bro. If you've been playing yeah. it for a while, yeah, and you've started to to get a sense for like where people play certain cards at certain times and all of that. Then these can these give you some added uh, some added replay value. These tougher ones, absolutely made the right. Oh, call. I should not play with. I forgot. I was I was gonna reveal here uh, what my my board looked like, but there you go. That's obviously you figured that out. You got them all. Uh, but uh, there's some other uh, some other. This and this would really make attribute it tokens. Because so yeah, you you then you work these in. Uh, if I if I go back back over here. So you're essentially having to guess. Two, put that in there, and then you've got it. Yeah, you've got to put another uh, an unused resident token has to go on the other side of that. So then you have to steer them towards this guy in this spot, this attribute in this spot, and this person on that attribute, which Sounds tough. just like that adds a whole nother layer of difficulty to this, especially if you work in more than one of these. You got that the and a murder. That plus a murder happening. Yeah, God, that's just I feel like it's tough for everybody, though, because the director, if there's a murder token on the board, the director doesn't want you to get the murder token. But they want you to get as much of everything else right as possible. Because right, you got to get director the director loses if you don't get at least six tokens. Yeah. So that's God. That's tough. That's that's a tough that's a tough game. Mm -hmm. uh, super super fun. I feel like there's a lot of replay value in this. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I think it uh, I think it feels. It feels like it captures the spirit of Mysterium, but in a neater package. Yeah. A, a tighter, it's a tighter game with less rule explanation behind it than what Mysterium has, I think. I agree. And way simpler setup. Um, I mean, we know what it's not. Yeah. So we could just move we miss red. Yeah, like, should we swap red and orange? Yeah, or should we just throw new people in the Um, <laughs> how about let's... Like, I don't know just, if that helps here. Just an idea. So yeah. If we throw her over there, and then we know this guy's it's got to be there. I'm yeah, I'm leaning towards him. And so that leaves who? Pink lady. Yeah? Okay. My track pink lady. All right. Uh, cool. How do you feel? You uh, feel want to take this? Take a gander at this? As, mm -hmm. as good as I can. Yeah? Okay. Let's... We're gonna lock in. Oh, this is interesting. When you use the detective skill in in combination with the the multi uh, tokens. Oh yeah. You have to choose. You have to choose one half of it. Which one are you pointing to? So yeah. if you've got this so on the board and you want to use that skill, you've got to point to. Are you asking about this token or about this token? So you could know that they're definitely playing games with somebody, but you don't know who, and you're still trying to fill that. Or you could, if you've got more than one of these, oh yeah, you could know that this is the person that's on that oh, part yeah. of the token, but that may not be the right token. Right. There are eight players, I mean eight residents, so you could play with only purple tiles. You could. And they have to double up each one of them. Yeah, the uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could even play with. You could house rule it to where instead of having twelve in the pool, you all just have the difficult uh, yeah. <laughs> attributes and just go with that. That could be wow. really fun. If you, I mean, I wouldn't. Play I don't it. know. I, I wouldn't do that. that on, fun. I wouldn't do that on second playthrough. <laughs> no, but maybe once you get uh, further in. Hi, Lord Grimos. Uh, Olympian says I vastly prefer the art style uh, in. Uh, Mysterium, which I think I agree with. Mysterium's got that that Dixit style art, that very like Tim Burton-y feel stuff, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, and I do agree. I think this art fits the theme of this game. It's very good. It's that like concept art from the 
for that time period. Yeah. It it also says in the rules for clarification questions if uh, I'm less salty about Kyle's clues now. On Thanks. on the watcher ability where we make Kyle point out a specific feature, if we are getting close to finding a murder, he can actually just lie. I can point to something else entirely. He can yeah. just actually point to something else and, and throw us completely off the trail. So. It's very 50s painted advertisements. Yeah, exactly. The art the art feels very, uh, yeah, very appropriate to the movie that, or at least the time, the time period, period of the movie yeah. that it's based on. I think it's wild that Funko let Prospero Hall make a game based off of a movie that is so not in the popular zeitgeist right now. But I love it. I'd like, I I think that's great yeah. that they that they have that kind of freedom where they like. I mean, whoever is on that development team just has the freedom to be like, hey, I got an idea for a game based on this. I, I just picked up another one. I think we're going to play it next week. Another one from the same development company uh, called Pan Am based on the airline from the 70s, which is all just about as recent as Rear Window is, I think. So they just recently oh, came out with a couple. Just came out with a couple of games recently that just have nothing to do with anything recent, mm -hmm. which I think is great. From this this does feel like a nice match, like, you know, yeah. you've got the three figuring it out, who did the thing. That's what I love about their games, is because they come up with a game that really fits the IP. Like, all they do are licensed property games. They don't, they don't at least not since Funko bought them, they don't do anything that's just a completely new, original intellectual property. They base it off of something. And it always feels like it fits perfectly. The Back to the Future game has a whole lot of like oh. mechanics that are specific to that yeah. game, or at least feel specific to that game anyway, and they really work and they fit. Uh, I've played a couple others of theirs. They've got a Haunted Mansion game that like has some interesting little mechanics. It, it's definitely for a younger... Uh, crowd to play, but there's some some new mechanics that I haven't really seen in other board games, and they fit. So we switch that one. Drunk, drum, blue. All right, sorry. Okay, yeah, everything's okay. All done. Let's freaking do it. We did it. Hey! You were everyone. <laughs> that was. I do love the theory that. I spent all that effort, like, I I spent my buff on tossing out a wrong token there, and at the end of it all, it ends up being the murder token. Like, <laughs> like I'm deliberately, like, helping like, you I'm realize that that... that you accept the <laughs> I love everything I've played from this developer, uh, some more than others. This one is definitely one of my favorites. I, I like this one a lot. I feel like this is also, like, just... It's just complicated enough to be interesting. And yeah, nice. yeah, like you're not, not gonna, so much that I'm like, it, oh. If you're a hardcore gamer, you're not going to get bored by this one. Uh, but I think you could, like, I think I could play this with my parents, mm -hmm. potentially. Yeah. They might they might get confused on a couple of things that I'd have to re-explain in the middle of the game, like getting really frustrated while they're deliberating on things. <laughs> you don't think your dad would be like, no. I saw the movie. That guy did it. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do think he would do that, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this was fun. This was this was a really, really solid game. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.